Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin and I'm Rachel Lucas, a congressional cliffhanger in Washington. The election day is over, obviously, but the political landscape is still unclear. It's too close to call as the balance of power still rests in the hands of a few swing states, but Democrats had a better night than expected. Regardless of what the final tally in these elections show, and there's still some counting going on, I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. And closer to home, there's disappointment, but also optimism from a key GOP supporter who was out on the campaign trail this year. 10 News reporter Sydney Jagstimer is live tonight. She's in the newsroom after speaking with Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin about these midterm results. Sydney. Well, Governor Youngkin says first off, he's very pleased with how the election process worked in Virginia and he feels very confident in it. But he does wish the Republican red wave was a little stronger than what we saw. The Republicans hoping to take control of Congress fell short. NBC is projecting Republicans took control of the House with 221 seats, but were not able to clinch the Senate. Governor Glenn Youngkin says he was hoping the red wave would have crashed a little stronger. I do think that uh, we expected to win a few more seats than we have. And uh, but at the end of the day, I do believe we'll end up with divided government. And, uh, and I think we have to go to work with divided government to make sure that we deliver for our voters. Here in Virginia, five out of the 11 congressional districts were won by Republicans, including incumbents Ben Klein, Morgan Griffith, and Bob Good, keeping their seats in the 5th, 6th, and 9th districts. Last month, Youngkin was in Roanoke County campaigning with Klein and Griffith. And, uh, and that's what folks want. And so they are great public servants. Uh, they work hard, hard for Virginians, and I was really pleased to see them reelected to head to Congress. Youngkin was also supporting Republicans beyond the Commonwealth on a national scale, bringing up the question. Could we expect something from you, some kind of announcement coming for a presidential run come 2024? What you should expect from me is a, a, a very focused effort to deliver for Virginians be the best governor that I can be. We've got a legislative session that's extremely important coming up in January. Governor Youngkin says come January, he's looking at focusing on lowering inflation, looking towards uh, addressing public safety and education. In the newsroom tonight, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.